So now we get to test five review problem number four. The rest of the problems in this test review are all in the field of optics. Okay, so these are very useful for optics types of problems. Problem four says an object of height equals six centimeters is standing 30 centimeter in front of the diverging lens of focal length f equals negative five diopters. So the focal length of the lens is given to you here, but not in centimeters. It's given in the other units of diopters, which is the units that optometrists use to uh, give you a prescription. The question says, A, draw the ray diagram and predict where the image will be. So we have to be able to, before we even do the equations, we have to be able to do the ray diagramming of this find out where the image will be and what are its properties, right? B, uh, we do the equations and find out the exact image distance. C, determine the height of the image. And then determine is the image real or virtual, diminished or enlarged, inverted or upright. So is it gonna be a real image or is it gonna be a virtual image? So we have to choose one or the other, right? Over here, is it a diminished image or enlarged image? So is it smaller? than the original uh, size of the object, or is it bigger? And then the last choice, is the image inverted, or is it upright? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna erase this so I can have a more room to do the picture on, and then you can always refer back to the questions uh, to remind yourself what the questions were, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so let's actually uh, draw this lens. This is a diverging lens, right? Diverging lens looks like this. It's thinner in the middle. It's thinner in the middle than at the ends, okay? And let's find out what is its focal length in centimeters, okay? The focal length in diopters is defined as 100 over its actual focal length in centimeters, right? So basically, the focal length in diopter, this is, I'm just drawing a D, a big capital D here, okay? Uh, that's the definition. Basically, the way that optometrists write the prescription is they write the inverse of the focal length. And uh, it a, becomes a unitless uh, number. So they take 100 centimeters, and they divide it by the focal length measured in centimeters, and they get a unitless number, and then that's your prescription. So in this case, the diopter is negative five. So that would be worn by someone who is nearsighted and the negative five prescription is pretty strong, okay? So that will give us what here? Uh, this is centimeters. So F is equal to 100 centimeter divided by negative five. So what focal length does that correspond to? 100 over negative five, that's negative 20 negative 20 centimeters. So that is the focal length, okay? So let's say now we draw this, uh, we're gonna get a, a meter stick here, draw the central axis of the lens. Make this lens a little straighter here. Okay, make it a little straighter up there. <clears throat> okay, so now let's do this. The diverging lens has two focal lengths. One is its primary focal length on this side. And we know that the focal length is negative 20. So let's do this to scale. So I'm going to use centimeters here. Uh, this is going to be, I'm going to go from the center of the lens and the negative 20. So 10, 20. This is the primary focal point. And 20 centimeters, 10, 20. This is the secondary. So this we can call focal point, focal point primary, and then this is the focal point secondary, okay? <clears throat> so, and they're both 20 centimeters away from it. The primary is to the left, why? Because the focal length is negative, you see? Because it's negative, the focal point is to the left. So now let's draw the object. The object is 30 centimeters, uh, so basically that brings the object right here. And then the height of the object is six centimeter.
okay so that gives us six centimeter so uh, <clears throat> now what are the ray diagramming rules so we're going to choose the top of the arrow to do our ray diagram once we find out where the image of the top of the arrow is then we will have an idea of where that image will be and what it will look like okay so here is the rules for uh, ray diagramming what you do with diverging lenses is you draw a straight line Okay, you draw a straight line parallel to the central axis. And when it meets the lens, it basically diverges outward. Of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be basically be uh, bending twice, right? Uh, when it meets the lens over here, we could draw the normal line, right? Which way will it bend? It will bend towards the normal, right? So that means it's going to bend this way towards the normal, okay? When it meets over there, you draw another uh, normal line, okay? Which way does it bend when it goes from glass to air? Away from the normal, right? So it's going to bend away. Now, how should I bend this away? Like how much should I bend away? Should I go way up? Should I not go way up? Here's the rule. The straight line will diverge in such a way as it will look like it is coming from the primary focal point. So here's what you do. You put your ruler right there, okay, to this tip, and this line will bend outward this way, okay? So that will give you basically, you see here, there's one bend, and then there's another bend, and then it looks like this is coming from the primary focal point. Okay? So if we had this backwards, uh, let me erase this now. Okay? If we had this backwards, you know what? Let me put this in a different color. It will appear as if the ray is coming from there, right? Okay. Now, what's the second rule? Okay. The second rule is this. The array that is intended for the secondary focal point, you have to imagine here that there is infinite number of rays coming from this uh, object. But we're focusing on a particular rays, either two rays or three rays, where we know what is going to happen to them. So the first one was the straight one. The second one is the one intended for the, uh, headed towards the secondary focal point. So draw like this, okay? Draw straight, 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 straight. Of course, when it gets there, it's gonna bend, right? So it's gonna bend inward. Now, what's gonna end up happening, the rule is this. Uh, a ray that is intended towards the secondary focal point is going to diverge outward in such a way as it's going to go straight. It's actually the opposite of this. A straight ray diverges outward. It looks like it's coming from the primary. A ray headed towards the secondary diverges out straight. Okay, so essentially it basically goes like this and then goes straight. Okay? Now, that ray looks like it's coming from where? Okay? That ray looks like it is coming from, so go back, I'm gonna use the red. <coughs> okay, so where is my image here? Okay, so I predict the image is gonna be here. Okay, in the blue, the intersection of those two reds, right? Here is the best way of finding out the, the, the two ray diagramming rules for diverging lenses, okay? Now let's predict from there where the image is. So um, find out right about here. So that looks like it's going to be about 10, about 12 centimeters to the left of the lens, about 12. So I'm going to put my approximation distance 
image uh, from the drawing 12 centimeters to the left that means it's a it's a imaginary uh, image it never really forms no image actually forms there it just appears as if these two rays are coming from there so it's gonna be negative 12 centimeter okay what is the height based on our drawing well the height of the original was six centimeter the height of this guy is going to be uh, one, two, one, two, three, about three centimeters. Uh, height of the image from the drawing, about three centimeter. Okay, so from the drawing, what can we conclude? The image is imaginary, it is diminished, because it's smaller, right? And it is, um, upright it's standing upright how would someone be able to see that image they would have to put their eye over here from this side of the lens right they would look at it and the image would appear there so nearsighted person would want to wear this kind of a lens right now let's do the actual equations okay so one over d o plus one over d i is equal to one over f d o is equal to 30 centimeter the I we don't know. The focal length was negative 20, right? 1 over negative 20. So 1 over the I is equal to 1 over negative 20 minus 1 over 30. So then it becomes uh, 30 uh, minus uh, 30 minus 20 over the product is 600. 1 over the I is equal to negative 50 over 600. 0, 0 cancels. Di is the reciprocal. So once you add them, then you reciprocate. 60 over negative 5 came out what? Negative 12. Negative 12 centimeter. Notice that. Exactly the same as what I got from my drawing. So if you do a good drawing, they should come out very, very close to each other. Okay? Okay, how about the, the height of the image?